Let's pull up here and check on the guys. We're in the process of doing a lift station, concrete lift station. Cause of supply demands, the box was many months out. So we were asked to build it. So today we got concrete coming and our rebar caps being hot shotted in today. Okay, our first instruction was when we got it down and we're digging below the water table, was to put this big rock in there and form a base. So we put the rock in there to do what we were asked and we just didn't feel like it was stable enough. So the new plan is close to what the first plan was. The new plan is to remove everything out all the way down to the sand bottom clay. There's about two and a half foot of sand that's in the well in the water table. And the first plan was to put the rocks in it, push it down and stable. But the sand kept coming up through pushing the elevation out. So with the new plan, we were going to remove everything down until we got down to the clay bottom. And you can see that's what we're doing right here. You can see there's a big difference. Now we're getting well below the box now we know this is going to cause settling around the box no doubt it's so wet but that's okay so here we are we move everything out and then we're going to place the big rock back in there and we're going to build it up and then we're going to leave it alone for a few days and let the water get pumped back out when you get in there stirring around with that sand the water just keeps coming in in and in so the engineer wanted to do this and then let it settle so we can see where we're at at that point. When digging in the box, you may have noticed the guy on the side, the spotter. That is so important. Everybody can have the greatest of skills, but the spotter's extra insurance. Don't try it. Just have somebody watch so you don't tear it up. These are aluminum forms and they will screw up real easy. You can poke a hole in them quick. As you can see, we were removing the sand layer now that the water had been sucked out of it, so to speak, but now it's rushing back in. Now that we're taking all the sand out, let's check our grade here. As you can see, we, if you look down there, we are about two foot below where grade was before. So this over excavating is gonna be filled in with rock. Now I didn't get a, a video of putting the rock in there. Basically it was a riprap anywhere from a foot to 18 inches we put it down then we put a ground cloth over it and then we put bull rock on top of it bull rock is three to five inches and if you look down in the hole as we set in the form right there you can see the rock in there worked very well very stable and it made it real manageable now we rented the forms to do this our base for this lip station is 10 foot by 8 foot 8 and it's 1 foot 6 thick and like I said, we rented these forms. Cost about, I think it was $6.80 for the month. That includes the walls to do everything for that and the lid. So it's not just the forms you're looking at. Here you can see the guys are tying the upright. Now the reason they're two different heights, we had some left over from another job that we went ahead and used on the L bars. Um, they were the same, number six, so it was no problem, didn't want them to go to waste. Here you can see John spraying everything down with form release. The concrete's here, so let's start filling it up. We got five yards. Now earlier in the video, I was telling how when we took bottom out, all the sand, it was gonna cause the settling around the box. If you look over to the right of the screen, you'll see that. Here's the diagram of what we're doing. Everything in blue means it's underwater. The big yellow block right there, that's the rock we did. The orange arrow is the top of the form right there that you're looking at, and the red is the flow line. So hopefully the diagram helps make a little sense of it. You can see the guys getting the vibrator ready over there. This little hole is not cheap. You got 9,200 a month for the well point system. You got 680 for the forms going in that you see at the bottom. You have 800 for the aluminum trench box. You got 1,600 for the standby pump on the other side. You got $12,280 worth of rental sitting around this hole, not counting labor and material. Dealing with water definitely runs the cost of the job up. Now we got the vibrator out, got it going. You can see that going on. No big deal there, just move it around. Keep shaking it down. All right, in the hole, got it spread out. Kind of getting in there with the come along, moving it around like you do concrete. Now the guys are getting in there, starting doing a little hand work. You know how concrete does around them rebars, get all them ridges. 
and we gotta set forms down on this and we need it to be smooth. It ain't like it gotta be smooth like a garage. You're not gonna see it, but it does have to be smooth. The shop drawings call for a keyway to go around where the walls are. So we got some three and a half inch keyway putting in right here. That's what you see doing. Why it's still wet, no big deal. We're gonna just push it down, kind of hold it down. I think in a little bit in the video here, you might see we put a rock or two on it to hold it down. Uh, once we get all that done, we'll, obviously we'll pick the rocks back up. The print calls for a keyway in here. Here we use a three and a half inch keyway, putting it down. Just smashing it into the concrete while it's wet. Uh, hold it down. I'm going to take the time to point out, you see the rebar has no caps over it. See the man just climbed down in there. With this supply chain screw up going on right now, some things are just getting harder to get. We do have caps coming and they are being hot shot in and you'll see that here later in the video but i hate for the men to be down there and them things not have caps over it here you can see all the keyways in all the way around so now we'll move on to the next stage and you can see the rebar caps finally can't showed up here it is this is the next day, so you can check it out. You can see the floor down there. We done stripped the forms off of it. I didn't get videos for that. This project's gonna be spread out over a couple more videos to share with you. Stay tuned. Like to ask everybody to hit the like button and subscribe, and we will see you again.